Hey there, fellas. All right, so the winter is upon us. It is super cold outside, snow and what have you. People are experiencing wheel spin on ice, in particular on our favorite hill where we like to test all sorts of wheels. So I've stumbled upon something recently. I'm referring to these lovely tracks. So check this out. We've gone and locked this one in a circle. We've got multiple sections. And after a bit of thought, we grabbed a wheel and... Now we just gotta figure out how we can make all of this work. We'll throw it all together, fit everything to a car, and do some testing. I'm really curious. This has quite a bit of weight to it. Something like 90 kilos, maybe even a bit more. So we're gonna see how it'll propel a car, and whether a lot engine can even cope with so much load. Alright, let's do this. So if you haven't been in our merch shop for a while, we have added a bunch of cool new stuff. Such as these handmade wallets and holders made out of genuine leather. It's a must-have for any dude who needs a reliable and convenient place to keep his documents. We also have an assortment of t-shirts, caps and key fobs with a fresh design. There is a lot to cover, so better you head on over to our shop and check out what we got. For anybody who places an order right now, I'll slip in a card with my picture and my personal autograph. Make sure to use PayPal to pay for your order, so that it goes through with no issues. Add something new to your collection of Garage 54 merch, and receive a card with my autograph. So head on over to our online shop, and the link of course is gonna be in the description. Tracked wheels for ultimate off-road ability. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, check out what we got here. We've got the tractor tracks on there, 10 sections per wheel. This 13 was really difficult to stuff in here, but we were able to. We've put some air in, no welding, meaning you can remove this. So yeah, 10 track sections per 13 inch wheel that we could barely fit with the thick sidewalls. Hey, it is what it is. We only had 20 of them in total which we had to split between the two sides of the car. And here we are. Now we take the car outside, get it off the jack, and rip around. On the exact surface we were preparing this for. There's plenty of snow, it's nice and warm outside. So let's get to it. All right, time to put these super studded wheels to the test. I don't see any alternative names for them. They're indeed super studded. Seems to be moving. Oh wow. Yeah, we're moving. That's nice. What was that rattle? That was a bit frightening. Who said it wouldn't get them to rotate? It's a Lotta. Lottas are wonderful cars. What was that knocking noise? Say what? It's hitting the wheel arch. Oh, it is? I wouldn't worry about that. The key thing here is to get the car rolling. From there, it's easy sailing. I do feel a slight vibration, of course. Well, obviously, with the width of the tracks, they are meant to be laid out flat. It's happily moving along.
They're showing me to go that way. I'll try. Oh, for real? How would I even get through in a regular old bottom? I don't think it's possible, but look at this one go. It just goes, without a care in the world, on account of where to, how, snow, no snow, road, no road. It just doesn't care. Holy cow. These are working miracles. These tractor tracks, man. Now what if I... As long as the motor can lug them around, with all of that weight, no trouble at all. Right, what's going on back there? Looking good. Terrific. That was my screw-up. Yeah, the engine is having a hard time. Even so, this moves with a plum. Look at that. That is some tremendous grip. Very nice indeed. It just doesn't care. Give it a bit of gas. As they say, a car's off-road ability doubles when you don't care about it. What, I'm not making it up there for real? It can't be. There must have been concrete under there. Oh well. Okay, it's time to try conquering the hill. We've got a few inclines, and we've got our favorite old hill, where we do a lot of our testing. But this is just as steep. No need to stick to the trodden path. We can drive anywhere we want. I can drive into the snow. And something tells me it'll behave in a similar manner in the mud as well. It is doing very well. A bit of sideways action. But now the engine is out of steam. But no worries. We'll just roll back. Uh -huh. We'll just drive a bit faster, rev the engine a bit higher, to get us... There we are. And there you have it. We've made our way up. We can attach a shovel to this. This thing rips. We've made this into an actual tractor. It could use a low range, though. And we can use it for snow removal. Okay, so it was able to make it down. Oh, what's this now? Snow removal underway. Nobody would flip around in a big car here. But I'll give it a try in my lot. There we are. Now why drive the other way? We have wheel spin. It's spinning the wheels. That noise we're hearing is an accompaniment. Is that a rep? The car is stuck. Oh, there we go. Very nice. 
See where I just flipped around? Chains, you say? That's cute. Tracks are where it's at, man. Oh, where am I going? Mm, I see. Come on now, get us out of here. We made it. Tremendous. The engine was having a really rough time. With how much these weigh. These give you really good grip. Well guys, I've just been out driving, it's all good. And this sort of solution, I mean... Installing tracks that are meant for a tractor, well... They performed beautifully. The thing just rips right through. And you don't even need a path to drive on. Doesn't matter how deep the snow is. These propel the car really well with how much grip they have. The engine wasn't quite up to it though. It obviously wasn't designed to cope with this sort of load. Also, the clutch wasn't feeling too great. I could feel the smell. And it was ready to burn to a crisp at any moment. That being said... If anybody is experiencing any sort of difficulties... Well, you can make wheels like these, of even larger diameter if you have a low range, with a few more sections, I mean. We did have to cut the arches, but you can always lift the vehicle, right? And I really liked how it drove. Granted, it was rather unpleasant when it'd start vibrating, but once you get it up to 15, 20 kilometers an hour, you're not even gonna notice. And the car is gonna be scooting along quite nicely. And that's all I got for you, fellows. Try it out, this was awesome. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.